Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy E2 Blue coming back at you again. And um, again, bye week. This is when teams are, well, the Dallas Cowboys. They're actually making moves out here, and um, they're trying to bolster their their team. Now, one thing you guys got to remember, player acquisition is 365 days out of the year. It never stops. You're always churning the bottom of your roster. Now, with that being said, um, Cowboys uh, looking at uh, different players of need, i.e. safety, OB uh, Melifonwu. Um, he's coming in for a visit today. He's probably there right now, actually. Um, he has a good chance of getting signed by the team. Low risk, high reward guy. Um, was a 2017 draft pick by the Oakland Raiders second round. Um, I remember when he came out in the draft because he was definitely um, on the Cowboys radar as well. He was actually um, one of the 30 visits for the Cowboys um, during that year's draft. Uh, just unfortunate for him. He's only played five games with the Raiders, um, you know, coming into his short career because of injuries, and injuries have plagued him. And being with them for a season and a half, pretty much it, he just, well, for the two seasons he's been in the league so far, he, he hasn't got a chance to um, really play, and he's had uh, two defensive schemes since he's been in the league. So, you know, there's not much to... Um, look at as far as his NFL experience. Now, you got to go back to his college tape to look at how good he was. And again, he was a second round pick for a reason. Again, he just, he just had a lot of injuries. Um, he, uh, went to University of Connecticut, UConn. He, uh, is a former, um, teammate of Byron Jones. So there's some familiarity there. Those guys know each other. And, um, again, he's 6'3. And he's an athletic guy. See, those are the type of guys that Chris Richard is looking for. You know, he's looking for those tall, rangy, long-armed guys to, you know, battle against these wide receivers in this league. Because it, because at the end of the day, um, he, he likes those guys to be physical in battle. And that's what I like about Chris Richard. He's bringing that 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 fire. He's bringing that oomph to that, to that back end of that defense. And that's what we need. And, again... More of that helps. And like I said, we need a good safety in here. Um, like I said, low risk, high reward. You know, you're not going to be coming here paying him that much. And it's a good look. You look at guys that they've taken chances on and they've been kind of successful outside of certain things that they're dealing with. Like, for instance, when we had Rolando McClain at, um, when we got him from the, uh, the Ravens, his focus wasn't football. But he was great at it. And when he did play for us, it showed up on the field. So I'm just hoping if they if they do sign Obi Melifonwu, I hope that he um, actually, you know, um, works out with us. Now, like I said, having Chris Richard back there does help. And, you know, Byron Jones, they know each other. So it's one of those things where, you know, some, some good camaraderie there. So I, I believe that that would be a good uh, pickup for us if they do sign him. And it just seems like the Raiders, they're just getting rid of all their players. They just don't, they don't care. Um, well, John Gruden, that is. It, it almost seems like he's trying to create his own dream team. He's, he's, to me, he's doing the things that um, Chip Kelly did when he first came to the Eagles. Got rid of all the players he didn't want and got his Oregon Ducks in there, which didn't work out well for him. But it looks like John Gruden thinks he's going to be the coach for a long time over there. So in his eyes, he's looking at it like, all right, I'm going to get all these guys. When we when we go to Las Vegas, we're going to be a Super Bowl team, I guess. But the problem is you're losing your team. Nobody wants to play over there. And it's the reason why we have Amari Cook. I mean, Amari Cooper. Oh, what the hell's wrong? <laughs> That's the reason why we have Amari Cooper now. Um, but thank you, John Gruden, for that one. So, um, They say your trash is somebody else's treasure. That's... And that damn sure is the case with this situation. But um, like I said, I think Obi Belafonbu, like I was high on him coming out the draft. Um, we'll see what he can do with the with the Cowboys if if they in fact sign him today. But we'll see. Um, they're also looking at a guy named Teddy Williams. He was a former DB for the Cowboys back in 2010, if you guys remember. Um, but um, I just look at. The whole dynamic of it. I'm actually liking the fact that the Cowboys are actually 
not sitting on their butt. They're actually going out and trying to do do some things. And that's a good thing right now. We need that. Um, some other guys that I think that the Cowboys should pick up now. My dream scenario, I'm going to tell you all right now, like I would love to get Patrick Peterson. I know that we're all right with cornerback at the cornerback position, but you can't never have too many good cornerbacks on your team. If we could somehow finagle Patrick Peterson, but the only problem is, well, Arizona Cardinals, uh, they're another team right now. They're they're trying to trade away their whole team. They said all of their players are um, viable at this point. They're just trying to get draft picks, and they're just trying to renew their team. Now, I think that um, since we just got Amari Cooper, we got rid of a first-round pick already. Um, I don't think that we have enough um, ammunition to go get um, – Patrick Peterson because I'm pretty sure that the Arizona Cardinals are going to want a one or a two for that and you kind of don't want to get rid of your one and your two that means we won't draft to the third round but you know like I said I'm not a big draft guru guy I'm not a scout I don't all that stuff I don't understand fully how it works but I know that Jerry Jones it's going to be interesting, this this draft. Unless we trade again back to get... Unless we trade away one of our players and get our first-round pick back for another player. But um, as of right now, we don't have a first-round pick for 2019. So that's going to be interesting. And Jerry's going to be really restful. Because normally, Jerry don't like to get rid of picks. That's why I was actually shocked that he did that Amari Cooper thing in the first place. But then when you think about it, the Eagles were trying to get him. And he was like, nope, not again. When they went and got Jay Ajayi, he was like... Oh, you know, they're just going out and getting good players to try to, you know, get in, get ahead of the NFC East. But they was like, nah, you're not going to do that again. We're going to go ahead and get him. You're not even going to get him, bro. Forget about it. But, I mean, that was a good move. So we'll see. Um, I'm waiting on reports to see what happens. Because the guy that we had that we signed before, the corner of CJ Good, when he was really good on special teams. He was oh, he's already third on the team in tackles and he ain't even played the whole season. So, um, but we're gonna be at without CJ Goodwin for a little while because he broke his forearm in the last game. So, you know, again, the Cowboys are trying to do their due diligence, trying to um churn this roster, which is which is also a good thing. So outside of um Patrick Peterson I was thinking about, you know, trying to go after get maybe Brent Grimes trade for him, Tampa Bay's cornerback. Um, uh, we need a tight end, really. We need a tight end. Go get Josh Hill from the Saints. You know, Watson out there, Ben Watson out there doing the damn thing, and he's becoming a good target for um, for Drew Brees. You look at it like this: we we could get their backup. We could get Josh Hill. You got to. You got a playmaking tight end that can catch the ball, that can block. I mean, if Jeff Swain is gonna if if Jeff Swain is gonna be out for a little while, go get Josh Hill. Now you got another threaded tight end, and you can mix Rico Gathers in there. Um, however you feel, you can just sprinkle it in there. Now these are just things that I'm thinking about. Um, again, since the Raiders are trying to get rid of their whole team, hell, if you're gonna go all out. Go get uh, Carl Joseph. Go get their uh, strong safety, Carl Joseph, and trade for him. They'll probably get rid of him for a fifth-round pick. Who knows? But, you know, like I said, these are just a couple of scenarios I'm thinking about. It's the bye week, y'all. Um, make this team better. Make the Cowboys great. Um, let's do that. And I'm all for that. So, but that's all I got for right now, y'all. Um, we'll figure out what's going on and see who the Cowboys are looking at this week. We got a long bye week, so... Um, Anything can happen between now and the Titans game. So, looking forward to it. Because there's always a talk about with our Dallas Cowboys. That's why I love this team. Thanks again for all my subscribers. I appreciate all your support. Like, share, comment. It's your boy E2Blue. Always keeping it real. Talk to y'all soon.